We want to invite you here to a new and different reading series, different from our series Teaching Reading. This series is called I Can Read and it is directed and meant for your children. In the series Teaching Reading, we talked to you, the parents and teachers, and gave you instructions on how to go about it Whereas with this series, we want to directly go to your children and, Lord willing, teach them to read via video. We have chosen three different reading levels, and so this reading series is given in three different parts, reading level one, level two, and level three. Each series or each part will begin with this little introduction I will give to give you the idea of how to use this video. Then we will continue with a little demonstration where we read with children of the different reading levels and then the teaching begins. Hopefully, all you have to do at home is put on the video and let the video be the teacher. Maybe first I will show you the different books we have chosen in the different levels. Each level chooses different books and I think also we have different books here to offer than the books your children usually are used to. The first level, meant to be for beginning readers, is a little 24 book series of a cute little boy which in our series we call Martin because the little boy who reads this series with us is called Martin and another figure in this series is a cute monkey a happy monkey called Maxwell Maxwell the monkey this uh, these little booklets are taken from an interesting book here called Teach Your Child to Read in 20 Minutes a Day. The books originally don't come in color. We have colored them for you to make them more attractive on the screen. This uh, series is followed up by an old-fashioned American reading series called Here We Come. And it talks about three cute children, David, Anne, and Timmy. Again, we have colored this uh, series for you just to be more attractive. And I'm sure your children will like it. So these are the books for the first reading level. The level number two gives some books of Ronald Rideout. Ronald Ryder, uh, his reading series comes color-coded in four different colors called the blue series, the green series, yellow series, and red series. And the lower level, the lower numbers, are geared for uh, the beginning readers and then it increases. So we choose the lower numbers of Ronald Rideout series for our reading level number two, as well as a cute side reading series about a cute cat called Cuddles and a cute puppy dog called Polo. So all this is our reading level number two. Then in reading level number three, we go on with Ronald Rideout series and we will cover the higher numbers of that series as well as a partly phonetic series 
The first one in that series is called Bath Time. And this series covers different blends. And then this will be followed by a phonetic series which cov covers different digraphs. So again, a very colorful, cute series which is quite attractive to your children. Good, so these are the different levels we have, the different readers we choose. Now, what will you have to do back home to use this video? All you have to do is turn on the video, pray, pray that your children can tune into it, that your children will like it, and we will do the teaching for you. Now, when you teach reading to a child, you usually work one-on-one. -on -one. You will probably find that by using this video, you will have a group of children uh, learning to read all at once. Now, the best results might be achieved by having a, f a small group of children watching. If you do teach a big group of children all at once, maybe you can divide the group since the actual amount of time is very short. You probably only spend approximately 10 minutes a day with this reading method. So maybe you can have uh, you can divide your group and have only a group of five or six children watch at a time because that way the children can come closer to the screen and see the print bigger. Also, you as parent or teacher might want to stay with the children to observe how the children are learning, to observe and see if any child needs a little help uh, or maybe needs to have the video rewound to uh, have a little repeat. So please do be there, watch your children, and have fun. Enjoy it, and uh, we pray and we hope that after watching these videos, your children have learned to read. This is ache. It's not a whole word, it's part of a word. Ache. Now let's look at some words that have ache in them. The ache word family. Cake. Bake. Lake. Mommy baked a cake by the lake. Mmm, yummy. Looks good. This says ale. It's a part of a word. Ale. And here's the ale word family. Pale, male, tail. This is a pail. It's another word for bucket. Pail. Want to read this one? Very good. 
Look at this. I know this is a long E sound because it's two E's. Eat. Eat. It's not the word eat. It's a part of a word. And here is the eat word family. Feet. Beat. Meat. Do you know what a beet is? It's a vegetable, a purple vegetable. And meat, like, I like to meet you. And can you find the word for this? Alright, there it is. Feet. Aim. This is what it says. It's not a word, just a part. The ending of a word. Aim. Let's look at some words with it. Here we go. The aim word family. And the words are game, came, name. And up here, we have a game board. Somebody's playing a game. Maybe it's you. See the little spinner here? Can you find the word game? There! Right! Now, children, this little word here, you might know it. It reads one, like one, two, three, when you count. But now, we'll just make it a part of the word. And now it will say own. Let's look at some words with own in it. The own word family. Bone, cone, tone. Like be sure you talk with a sweet tone. And up here, what's this? Right, it's a bone. Can you find the word? Oh, where is it? Found it! Bone. Very good. This says ant. Let's look at the words. Oh, fun! Look at this nice tent. Okay, let's look at the ant word family. Tent. Sent. Went. Shall we try to make a sentence? We sent for a tent and went camping. This little word here is an, like an apple or an orange or an ice cream. But now we'll make it to be the ending of a word, an. And now let's look at the N word family. The N word family. Van, fan, man. Would you like to read them? Very good. The man had a fan in the van. Very good. Look at that! A brand new book for you to read! You children have done so well learning to read all of these readers. Look at all these kids here waiting for you to read all about them. You know what the name of this book is? It's actually about a game called Hunt the Thimble. Hunt the thimble. And all these kids are going to hide bing, that little thimble for you to find. Are you ready? Lord bless and help us as we learn to read more and more in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, hey, look at that. You know who that is? These are all the kids that are going to play the game with us called Hunt the Thimble. Aren't they nice? Do you like the different boys and the different girls? 
They all have nice smiles, don't they? Oh, Elizabeth here. She has a funny little smile. But doesn't David have a nice smile? And Richard? And Andrew? Well, why do I introduce you to all these kids that you're going to read about, okay? First of all, we have Tom. Dear Tom here with the nice glasses. And this is Jane. Hi, Jane. Isn't she sweet? I like her little smile. Do you? And remember David, who drew the picture with the fluffy, fluffy blonde hair? Look at her hair. Isn't that pretty? She has such curly, 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 curly hair. Sarah is her name. What are their names now? You read it, okay? There. Four new friends. And who's this? Remember who found his red engine? This the same name. Andrew, right. And... Elizabeth. She has a Z in her name. Elizabeth. This is Richard. He has red fluffy hair. And this girl with the pretty long braids is Fiona. Fiona is a very common name in England. Did you know that? She has long pretty braids like lots of you girls do. Oh look! There's one more little boy here we didn't meet yet. Look, his name is James. Do you see James? With a nicely combed hair. Well, that makes a whole new group of friends for us. And I'm going to read you what they're going to do, okay? It says here, These children are going to play... Did you read it? Right! Hunt the thimble. And this is the thimble. This here is a big picture of a thimble. Guess what? I have one too. I had to hunt a thimble to find it today to show it to you. This is a thimble that we use when sewing so that we don't pierce our finger with a needle. It's a little protective shield over the finger. And it's a fun little thing to hide so that you have to hunt for it. Are you ready to read? Here we go! Now, look who's got the thimble. It's Tom. Remember Tom? It's Tom's turn to hide the thimble. And look, I can see where he's going to put it. Do you see him carrying a big alarm clock? Let's see if you can read these sentences now all by yourself. Are you ready? Here we go. First, this word says hid. Did you get that? And did you read clock? Good for you. Now look, it says here, then all the other children looked for it. See, she's looking and looking and looking and oh, I wonder if she found it. This is Jane, remember? I bet you can read this if we go real slow. Would you like to try it? You see if Jane found it, okay? She's looking on the mantelpiece here above the fireplace. Here we go. They really looked a long time, huh? At last... She did find it. Good for you, Jane. Now, where did Jane hide the thimble? Can you guess? Look. <gasps> Beep pie. There it is. You want to read about it now? Then... Sh 
she right now I wonder who's gonna find it there want to see Ta da look who found it David found it remember David with his stripedy shirt that he drew a picture of himself in our other book remember look he found the thimble. Okay, now I know you can read this. Let's have a try. At last. Right. David found it. Good for you, David. All these kids are good lookers. And you kids are good readers. Now remember the cupboard where Andrew looked for his red engine? I wonder if anyone will think to look there for the thimble. Let's see where David hid the thimble. Ready? Time to read. David's turn. Right. Did he hide it under the cupboard? Or beside the cupboard? Or inside the cupboard no he hid it on top right okay let's keep going oh remember sarah with the pretty curly curly brown hair here she is in her little pink dress and her black shiny shoes and she points up on top of the cupboard and says, Look, look, I found it! It looks like Sarah found the thimble. Are you ready to read? You're doing great. Don't give up. Here we go. Right! Very good! You're doing great! Oh, yummy! Do you see that nice fruit bowl? If you kids have nice washed clean hands, here, I'll pick you a grape. One for you, and one for you, and one for you. Everybody can get a grape! Thank you, Lord! Oh, what do you see there in the fruit bowl? Wait a minute. Look. It's the thimble. Funny Sarah. That was a good idea. Where did she hide the thimble? Right. You can read. Banana. Good for you. Oh, funny Andrew. He must have had the same idea we did about snitching the grapes. And guess what he found when he was in the fruit bowl? Right! The thimble! Good for you, Andrew. Now we can read about it. Hey, very good. Hey, wait, Andrew, where are you going? Andrew's going in the closet. Oh, I know. He's hiding the thimble, kids. It looks like he wants to put it behind 
This door. Don't tell, okay? You read about it, but don't tell the other kids. Here we go. Oh, there's that curly, curly question mark, remember? They're asking us a question here. Where did Yes! See the little word B? See B? Now let's open it up to behind. Behind the door. Now we know that, but the kids don't know that yet. So don't tell them until next time, okay? See you again next time we read about Hunt the Thimble. Bye-bye for now. This is ache. It's not a whole word, it's part of a word. Ache. Now let's look at some words that have ache in them. The ache word family. Cake. Bake. Lake. Mommy baked a cake by the lake. Mmm, yummy. Looks good. This says ale. It's a part of a word. Ale. And here's the ale word family. Pale, male, tail. This is a pail. It's another word for bucket. Pail. Want to read this one? Very good. Look at this. I know this is a long E sound because it's two E's. Eat. Eat. It's not the word eat. It's a part of a word. And here is the eat word family. Feet. Beat. Meat. Do you know what a beet is? It's a vegetable, a purple vegetable. And meat, like, I like to meet you. And can you find the word for this? Alright, there it is. Feet. This is what it says. It's not a word, just a part. The ending of a word. Aim. Let's look at some words with it. Here we go. The aim word family. And the words are game, came, name. And up here, we have a game board. Somebody's playing a game. Maybe it's you. See the little spinner here? Can you find the word game? There! Right! Now children, this little word here, you might know it, it reads one, like one, two, three, when you count. But now we'll just make it a part of the word. And now it will say own. Let's look at some words with own in it. The own word family. Bone, cone, tone. Like be sure you talk with a sweet tone. And up here, what's this? Right, it's a bone. Can you find the word? Oh, where is it? Found 
Hold it. Bone. Very good. This says ant. Let's look at the words. Oh, fun. Look at this nice tent. Okay, let's look at the ant word family. Tent. Sent. Went. Shall we try to make a sentence? We sent for a tent and went camping. This little word here is an, like an apple or an orange or an ice cream. But now we'll make it to be the ending of a word. An. And now let's look at the an word family. The an word family. Van, fan, man. Would you like to read them? Very good. The man had a fan in the van. Very good. This reads orn. Can you think of a word that has orn in it? Something you like to eat? It's on a cob? Corn? Right. Let's see what our words are. The orn word family. Horn, born, corn. See the nice horn? Can you try to blow it? And this is born, like where were you born? Oh, and here's our corn. Oh, I like corn. Good. This little word is eat, like I like to eat cake and ice cream. But now let's just make it a part or an ending of a word. There, eat. The eat word family. Meat, beat, seat. Meat, the one you eat. And then beat, that's something mommy has to do. When she makes cake, she has to beat the batter. And better sit still on your seat. Can you find the word meat? There it is. Very good. It's old, old, like the opposite of young, young and old. But now let's make it just the ending of a word. Old. Let's look at the words. The old word family. Gold, cold, sold. Would you back home like to make a sentence with this? I wonder what your sentence was. Would you like to hear my sentence? I sold the gold that was cold. And up here you can see big blocks of gold. They're called big gold bars. They're very heavy. Gold. Thank you. At. This little part of a word reads at. Can you think of a word with it? Something the fisherman uses. What's that? And how do you feel when you go swimming? You are all right, wet. Here we go with the et word family. Net, let, wet. You can let the net get wet. Very good. Ank. Ank. Let's look at the ank word family. Did you wonder what this is? It's a tank. A tank is a machine the soldiers have to use in war. Now, the ank word family. Tank. 
bank sank the tank like up here a bank is either a place where people put money or it's the edge of a river a river bank and here is sank what happened to the rock that you threw from the bank into the water it sank right this little part of a word reads ein the ein word family nine line mine can you find the word for number nine found it un can you think of a word which ends with un what did master jackson have in his hand when he shot the ducks right a gun let's look at the un word family the un family sun fun run how about if you read them now would you like to make a sentence I wonder what your sentence is. Would you like to hear mine? It's fun to run in the sun. Oh, hi children, look. There's our little group of new little friends, remember? All the kids that we met in our reader about Hunt the Thimble. I see Fiona and David and Tom and Andrew and Elizabeth and my, let's get to read, shall we? Remember that he hid the thimble somewhere really tricky. Can you imagine hiding a teensy tiny little thimble behind the door? I bet they looked a long time. They must have looked everywhere. This big word says everywhere. Isn't that an interesting word? Now you can read all by yourself and you're going to find the word Elizabeth in the text. Are you ready? what and there it was good for you Elizabeth she found it oh do you see what I see this is a nice family portrait hanging on the wall or a picture hanging on the wall see of the daddy and the mommy and the baby and oh, what do you see on top? Look! <gasps> there it is! What a smart place to hide it! Now that looks like a quite a difficult place to hide it. I wonder if they'll find it. First, let's read about it, shall we? There's our question again. See the question mark? Very good. Terrific. Did you read the word yes? And did you remember the word top? Good. She hid it on top of a picture. Who's going to find it there? Maybe nobody. Now, do you remember who that is with the red fluffy hair? It's Richard. Now, Richard must be a very persevering boy, don't you think? 
to look so hard as to find a teensy tiny little thimble on top of a picture? Good for you, Richard. Now, watch this, Richard. The kids are going to read for you. There's our new big word. Now follow my finger. And there it was. Good. Now I wonder if you children know what a record player is. A record player is this little box back here, this little machine where he puts a big record on a spindle and puts the needle on top of the record to play music. Now all the kids are closing their eyes while Richard hides the thimble and you can read about the record player. Okay? Here we go. He hid it on Excellent! You're doing really, really, really good. Now if you need to take a little longer time you can keep the video on and practice the reading again and again. Good! Wow, I bet it took the kids a long time to find a thim thimble now. In fact, it says here they hunted for a long time. They hunted and hunted for it because it was hidden in such a good place. Now do you remember which little girl had the long braid? Remember Fiona? It looks like that's Fiona's braid. So you're going to read Fiona's name in this text. Are you ready? I wonder where she's going to find it. Did you get it? Good record player. And together, there it was. Right, she hid the thimble on the little spindle that holds the record on the record player. She found it there, I mean. Isn't that great? Terrific. <laughs> Now, since you shiners have done so well with your reading, why don't I read the text for you this time, okay? You just watch while I point with my finger. Are you ready? Then, it was Fiona's turn to hide it. Can you see where she hid it? Yes! Huh! <gasps> She hid it on her head. Oh. My goodness, do you think they'll ever find it on Fiona's head? It says here that they hunted even longer this time. Even longer because who would ever think you'd have a thimble on your head? Now who's that? Remember James? Our little friend with the nicely combed hair? That's James. He has a Bible name, doesn't he? So now that you know those new words, you can read it and find out if they ever found that thimble. Here we go.
together and there it was funny Now, if you thought that Fiona's head was a very odd place to hide the thimble, a very odd place, a very strange or funny place, wait till you see where James is going to hide it. Then... Where, oh where, is James going to hide the thimble? Now look at that. Everyone is hunting everywhere for the thimble. This is it. I knew it. This is going to be the trickiest one of all. Do you see the different ones looking on the mantel and out the window and in the cookie jar and on the floor and in a box and on the table and oh look, curly-headed Sarah is still peeking in the fruit bowl to see if it could still be on the banana. Tom is scratching his head wondering, Phew, where, oh where can the thimble be? It looks like this time no one could find it. Now you can read the rest. Tried to find it. Tried. Good. But this time no one could find it. Oh dearie, maybe we'll fall, maybe we've lost it. Maybe we'll never find it again. Kiddos, can you help us find it? Now, do you see it? I don't. Oh my, is it here? Where did James hide the thimble? Can you find it? Take a good look. Everybody look around. Where is it? Are you sure? Oh! Oh! Look at that! Aria! You found it! This reads Orn. Can you think of a word that has orn in it? Something you like to eat? It's on a cob? Corn? Right. Let's see what our words are. The orn word family. Horn, born, corn. See the nice horn? Can you try to blow it? And this is born, like where were you born? Oh, and here's our corn. Oh, I like corn. Good. This little word is eat, like I like to eat cake and ice cream. But now let's just make it a part or an ending of a word. There, eat. The eat word family. Meat, beat, seat. Meat, the one you eat, and then beat, that's something mommy has to do. When she makes cake, she has to beat the batter. And better sit still on your seat. Can you find the word meat? There it is. Very good. Reads old, 
old like the opposite of young young and old but now let's make it just the ending of a word old let's look at the words the old word family gold cold sold would you back home like to make a sentence with this I wonder what your sentence was. Would you like to hear my sentence? I sold the gold that was cold. And up here you can see big blocks of gold. They're called big gold bars. They're very heavy. Gold. Thank you. At. This little part of a word reads at. Can you think of a word with it? Something the fisherman uses. What's that? And how do you feel when you go swimming? You are all right, wet. Here we go with the et word family. Net, let, wet. You can let the net get wet. Very good. Ank, ank. Let's look at the ank word family. Did you wonder what this is? It's a tank. A tank is a machine the soldiers have to use in war. Now the ank word family. Tank, bank, sank. The tank like up here a bank is either a place where people put money or it's the edge of a river a river bank and here is sank what happened to the rock that you threw from the bank into the water it sank right this little part of a word reads ein the ein word family nine line mine can you find the word for number nine found it un can you think of a word which ends with un what did Master Jackson have in his hand when he shot the ducks? Right, a gun. Let's look at the unword family. The un family. Sun, fun, run. How about if you read them? Now, would you like to make a sentence? I wonder what your sentence is. Would you like to hear mine? It's fun to run in the sun. The ock word family. This little part of a word says ock. Oh my, that was wild. Here we go. Ock, word family. Suck, luck, rock. Would you like to read them? Excellent. This little word reads ink, like the ink you used to write with. But now we'll just make it the ending of a word ink the ink word family sink pink wink can you wink want to do so right now fun ave 
a let's look at some words which end with a did you figure out what this is a cave right the ave word family cave save wave the cave can save you from the wave this sound is ah can you hear ah in ad cat and man I bet you can this sound is a listen for a in apron April and baby now this sound is a but buddy E over here is silent he's just there to encourage mr. a to say his name like in eight brave and gate this sound is a can you hear a in aim Spain and made this sound is a can you hear a in straight this sound is a can you hear the a in day may and play wow this sound is a also a like in great break and steak yummy yummy this sound is a you can hear a in eight wait neighbor this sound is a you can hear a in they obey gray this sound is ah like in all can you hear it in father this sound is also ah can you hear it in law, draw, and jaw? Can you draw a jaw? This sound is aw. Can you hear aw in Saul, Paul, fault? This sound is aw. Can you hear ah in caught, taught, daughter? This sound is ah. Can you hear ah in bought, sought? Hi children, look at this. Another new reader for you to read all by yourself. Well, I can help you a little bit if you need it. Because we like to work together, huh? Do you see this big fat frog? Do you know what the name of this reader is? Oddly enough, the name is brag, brag, brag. Do you know what it means to brag? Well, let's find out in the book, shall we? <coughs> Welcome to the frog jumping contest. We're going to have a contest here to see whose frog can jump the furthest. Are you ready? 
Look at all those frogs. My goodness, they're big ones. They must be bullfrogs. And this is Chris. And this is Fred. See their names here? Chris and Fred. Now, if you can read the words frog, then you can read this by yourself. Chris Fred. Well, they both have frogs, but look at all the other frogs, too. Let's see what it says. Are you ready? Now, look what Fred is doing. He sets his frog on a tree. And then he brags. Oh my. Now that's not so good, is it? Let's just talk about that one little minute before we go any further. Now you children know that, that it's not a good thing. In fact, it's very boastful and proud to brag. Oh my. Well, I think Fred and Chris have a little lesson to learn in this reader. Do you? Well, let's read about it. You want to try it yourself? Fred sets, oh, I think he's going to show his frog off to the others. He brags, my frog, oh, is big. And I think Chris joins in here, uh-oh. says Chris. They're bragging about whose frog is biggest. Uh-oh. Boing, 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 boing. Oh my! Look! Fred has his frog now hopping all over the grass. I bet he's going to brag now that his frog is fast. Maybe Chris will brag too. Oh dear. Let's see what they say now, shall we? Fred lets grass. This word says grass. Good. Uh oh, what did he brag? My frog is fast. He brags. So is my frog, says Chris. Oh my, they're really comparing frogs here. Oh my, looks like it's getting time now for the contest. This is the referee, and he's going to blow a whistle soon after he says, everybody get set, get ready. See, get set. It's time to get your frog all set up for the hopping and jumping contest. Can I help you read this? You try first. Right. A man tells the kids to get set on your mark. Get set. Ready. Sets his near her frog. Now see, Chris and Fred here, they're boasting very proudly about who has the best frog. So Fred sets his frog near her frog and they're going to be competitive and compare. Oh my, I wonder if the Lord's going to bless this contest. That's what I'm wondering. How about you?
Now look, they're ready for the lineup. And what does Fred brag again? He thought his frog was the fastest, and he thought he was going to be first. Now he brags. Win. Again, my frog will win, brags Fred. Oh dear. And now look, here comes the copycat following his bad sample. And now look, there's a big kid that joins the jumping contest. And he says, what's the title of our book? He says, I hate to hear kids brag. The big kid doesn't like to hear the kids brag. He's trying to give them a little reproof there, huh? He's trying to check their spirit before the contest that they shouldn't be bragging. Okay, ready for the frog jumping contest to begin? The referee blows his whistle. And he yells, Go! Are you ready to read? Look at all the frogs! Look out! There they go! Hop, 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 hop! They're taking off! The man yells, tries to make But, uh-oh, it... Oh-ho, you see? The frog won't go! I think there's a lesson coming. So you see? You see what happened? Who's way in the back? Fred! Fred's over here talking to his frog. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Froggy, come! But, um, <clears throat> it won't go. Let's read what it says. Are you ready? Fred's frog croaks and croaks. He just sits there croaking and he won't go anywhere. You see? And whose frog is winning? What color is the frog? Wins. Right. The big kid's green frog here. He's the one that's winning. Aha! Just what we thought might happen. Da 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 da! There's the winner, the champion. Do you see what's up here, kids? In the top, it's a trophy or a big prize for the winner. A frog trophy, isn't that funny? And this word says prize. Everyone's hooraying and happy because someone won the prize. See the nice grin on the kid's face? This word says down here, grin. Right, grin. Now, let's read the last page together, shall we? What does the big kid say? Now you read. And what's the title of our book? He says the same thing the big kid said to him. I hate And what do the kids all do? The kids all grin. 
Now, why are they grinning? Because Fred said the same thing to the big kid that he said to him. Actually, we shouldn't really say, I hate to hear kids brag. We could give somebody a verse or something a little more constructive and edifying to help them learn their lesson than to just say, I hate to hear that. But see, these kids don't know any better, do they? I hope that Chris and Fred learn their lesson, don't you? Shall we pray for them? Shall we pray that Chris and Fred learn not to be so proud and boastful? Okay, Lord Jesus, we pray that these kids in the reader and that we kids too, Lord, can always learn to be of a humble spirit and to be of a meek and lowly spirit and not, Lord, to brag, brag, brag and boast and be proud. And help us to help one another, Lord, to be kind one to another and be a humble child of God. In Jesus' name, amen. You finished that reader, kids. God bless you. You did terrific. You can read it all over again if you want to. Bye-bye till next time. Bye-bye. The Ock Wood family. This little part of the word says Ock. Oh my, that was wild. Here we go. Uck, word family. Suck, luck, rock. Would you like to read them? Excellent. This little word reads ink, like the ink you used to write with. But now we'll just make it the ending of a word ink the ink word family sink pink wink can you wink want to do so right now fun ave ave let's look at some words which end with ave Do you figure out what this is? A cave, right. The Ave word family. Cave, save, wave. The cave can save you from the wave. This sound is ah. Can you hear ah in Ad, cat, and man, I bet you can. This sound is A. Listen for A in apron, April, and baby. Now this sound is A. But Buddy E over here is silent. He's just there to encourage Mr. A to say his name, like in eight. Brave and gate. This sound is A. Can you hear A in aim? Spain and made. This sound is A. Can you hear A in straight? This sound is A. Can you hear the A in day, may, and play? Wow! This sound is a, also A, like in great, break, and steak. Yummy, yummy. This sound is A. You can hear A in eight. 
Wait. Neighbor. This sound is A. You can hear A in they, obey, gray. This sound is ah, like in all. Can you hear it in father? This sound is also ah. Can you hear it in law, draw, and jaw? Can you draw a jaw? This sound is ah. Can you hear all in Saul, Paul, fault? This sound is ah. Can you hear ah in caught, taught, daughter? This sound is ah. Can you hear ah in bought, sought? This sound is b. Can you hear the b in babble, believe, and crib? This letter is silent in words like lamb, crumb, and doubt. This sound is s, as in lace, and face, and circle. This sound is k, like in cloud, cream, or cat. This sound is ch, like in chill, rich, and bench. This sound is ch, as in match, stretch, witch. This sound is ch, as in picture, century, nature. This sound is k, like in choir or school. Christmas. This sound is d, as in dog, ad, damp. This sound is d, as in dimmed, trimmed, planned. This sound is e, eh, like in net, leg, or get. This sound is e, eh, like in a head, bread, dead. This sound is E. Can you hear it in B, 
He Evil This sound is E Listen for E in Eat See And Meal This sound is E. Can you hear the E in eel, weak, and flea? Have you got your flea bag? And this sound is E. The second letter E is silent though. It's just there to encourage its buddy like an Eve. Peter and these. Mr. E at the end is silent. This sound is E. Can you hear E in either? Ceiling, neither. This sound is E in valley, key, chimney. This sound is E. Like in ski, sandier, puppies. This sound is E. Like in field, priest, or brief. Look at that! It says SCAT! Cat? And that's the name of our new book today! SCAT! Cat? Look at the cat! Oh my! What in the world's going to happen in here, kids? Did you know that in this book we're going to learn all about the sounds with S? In this case, it's for scat. Are you ready to go? Let's turn the page. Meow. Look who's here. It's the cat Snuff. His name is Snuff. And he's at Mr. Slate's store. There's Mr. Slate sweeping and sweeping in his store. Can you see in the store window the cash register and the nice gingham checked curtains? This is an old-fashioned store. Isn't it nice? Would you like to read about Snuff now? Oh, look what it says. Snuff has right no home. Poor Snuff has no home. Where is he sitting? See the steps here? Now you can read about it, okay? Sits. Steps. Right. Did you read it? He sits on the st, st, steps. And he, he smells something nice in there. He's sniffing. Can you read that? Snuff. Sniffs. <laughs> so, do you like this story? Look what happens here. Mr. Slate sweeps. He's outside on the front steps sweeping. And look, it looks like the cat, Snuff, is sneaking into the store. Look out! Let's read about it. Are you ready? Mr. 
sw sweeps. Right, this word says mister. Are you ready? Now, what's the cat's name? Sneaks. He sneaks up to the door. And what's going to happen? Aha! I see you, Snuff. And what does he yell to the cat? Scat! Cat! Scat! Shoo! 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 Look what happened! Snuff runs in the store and hides. Oh, poor Mr. Slate can't seem to find him. Ready to read the first line, kids? <gasps> Where does he hide? Do you know what this is? A big fat pot belly stove for wood burning. And so Snuff is hiding by the stove. And you can read it now. And Snuff stares at the storekeeper. He wonders what's going to happen next. Do you know this word says stares? St, st, stares. Ready to read it? What a big eyed cat Snuff must be now. And uh oh. Oh dear! Mr. Slate can't find him! He can't see him! Oh my! My, the hot stove is steaming. Psh, hot, smoky steam comes out, and it scares Snuff. Oh dear! Oh, what's going to happen now? Would you like to read it? The poor kitty. She's qu he's quite scared. Are you ready to read? Oh, Mr. Slate found the cat. And what does he yell? Right! Scat, cat! Scat! Get out of here! Scat, scat, scat! Crash! Bam! Boom! Bang! Plop! Oh, dear, remember? That big pile of cans that were all stacked up in the corner here? This says pile of cans. See the cans rolling and banging and booming and pow! Remember? Snuff got scared from the steam. Oh my, oh dearie, what's going to happen here? Snuff leaps. Then what happens? Can you see this word? Can you see sp, 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 spill? The cans spill. Now you can read it. Crash, boom, bang, plop. Oh my. And poor Mr. Slate, he comes running over to help and whoa, 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 look out! Oh 
Oh my! He sl slips. Poor man, he slips. Can you read it? Oh, Jesus, help him not to hurt himself. Oh, thank the Lord. He didn't hurt himself. He only did something to his toe. See this? St, 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 like in store. Remember? What happens when you bang your toe? It says, he stubs. Can you read? Right. And sl and sp sp. Good for you. You're sounding out so many words. Look what happened! Oh dear, it looks like Snuff jumped up on the counter and he... It says Snuff sk, 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 skids! He slid along the counter and he skids! Oh my! He keeps sliding till... Do you kids remember? What was stacked on the end of the counter there? Remember the box of... Oh my! He... Hits! Oh dear! Crash! Smash! Splat! Plop! <laughs> oh dear! And what happened? Drop! Right! The eggs dropped and plopped and smushed and <coughs> all over the floor! Oh, do you see that? Poor Mr. Slate! He grabbed onto the curtains. They're called drapes in this story. Oh dear, look what happens. Sl Can you sound this one out? Sl sl slides on the ooh gooey eggs. Oh no! Now he grabs on tight, hanging on the drapes. This word says, right, that's a name for curtains. Ready to read? Well, don't you try that, kids, because you know what happens? The curtain rod will snap right in two and boop, break. This word says, Sn, sn, snaps, snaps. And we're reading about the curtain rod. Ready? <coughs> oh, did you hear that? Poor Mr. Slate. What about this? Sl, sl, slam. Bam! Crash! Boom! Bang! Deary me! What a day in Mr. Slate's store! Here we are! Did you ever see such a mess? This word says mess! And what a messy mess, don't you think? Ready to read? What a mess, poor Mr. Slate. Look, his shoes are in the eggs and 
everything's such an icky mess. All he can do is just lie on the floor. Ooh. Good. You kids are really reading this. And what does Snuff do? He <coughs> laps up the icky raw eggs. Oh, my! Remember, the poor kitty cat Snuff doesn't have a home. He wanted to come into the store. He was scared, remember? And now what happens? Here's a new word. Pl, 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 pleads. He pleads like he's begging. Mr. Slate pleads. Scat. Please? Please, kitty cat, won't you scat? Oh, dear, poor Mr. Slate. Do you think he's a bit discouraged, children? He looks a little sad because his store is such a mess. What about you kids staying back a bit and helping Mr. Slate to clean up his messy, messy store? Please don't be discouraged, Mr. Slate. Snuff the cat was just scared. We'll stay and help you clean up, okay? Are you ready, kids? JJT time! Let's get to work! Super! And you just finished a whole reader! Good for you! Hallelujah! This sound is B. Can you hear the B in Babel, Believe, and Crib? This letter is silent in words like lamb, crumb, and doubt. This sound is s as in lace, and face, and circle. This sound is k, like in cloud, cream, or cat. This sound is ch, like in chill, rich, and bench. This sound is ch, as in match, stretch, witch. This sound is ch, as in picture, century, nature. This sound is k, like in choir or school, Christmas. This sound is d, as in dog, ad, damp. This sound is d, as in dimmed, trimmed, planned. This sound is e, eh, like in net, leg, or get. This sound is e, eh, 
like in a head, bread, dead. This sound is E. Can you hear it in B? He. Evil. This sound is E. Listen for E in eat, see, and meal. This sound is E. Can you hear the E in eel, weak, and flea? Have you got your flea bag? And this sound is E. The second letter E is silent though. It's just there to encourage its buddy like an Eve. Peter and these. Mr. E at the end is silent. This sound is E. Can you hear E in either? Ceiling, neither. This sound is E in valley, key, chimney. This sound is E like in ski, sandier, puppies. This sound is E, like in field, priest, or brief. Here, Mr. I gives his buddy E's name, like in police, gasoline, or magazine. And buddy E at the end is silent. Here's another sound for E, like in pity, funny, <laughs> sorry. Now this sound is p, like in faith. Fan, film. Here's another sound for f, like in photo, phoenix, prophet. This sound is f, as in enough, cough. <coughs> and laugh. <laughs> this sound is j, like in gem, gentle, and vegetable. Did you eat your vegetables? This sound is g, like in gap, great, or gold. Now this letter is silent in words like sign, rain, and gnaw. This sound is like in him and hot and Now here's another silent letter. This letter is silent in words like air and herb. This sound is i, like in pit, sit, or fin. This sound is i. Can you hear i in Jim, Lynn?
This sound is I, like in child, kind, iron. Here's another sound for I, in tie, die, or pie. Mmm, yummy, yummy. This sound is I, but Buddy E is just there to encourage him to say his name, like in fine, wine, and pile. Remember, Buddy E at the end is silent. And here's another sound for I. Can you hear I? In sigh, light, and night. Here's another sound for I, as in lie, die, and rye. And here's another sound for I, like in sky, cry, <laughs> and dry. This sound is j, like in jet, job, and Japan. This sound is j, as in gem, gentle, and vegetable. This sound is j, like in judge, bridge, hedge. Look, kiddos, a brand new reader. Hey, it says here comes the bride. That's the bridal march that you hear. Here comes the bride. Have you children told your parents and teachers that you can read all by yourself? Well, I hope so, because you can. And Lord Jesus, please help us now with our brand new reader all about Here Comes the Bride. Do you kids know what a wedding is? It's when the bride or the pretty lady gets all dressed up to marry her groom. That's going to be her new husband. And it looks like the kids here are getting set for a wedding. Now this is little Fran. Fran is her name. And this boy is Greg. Greg. Fran and Greg. And guess what they're doing? Can you read it all by yourself? Here we go. Right, see the br, br, bride. Good. Are you ready? Now what's Fran doing here? See how she snip, snip, snips the grass? She tr, tr, trims. This word says trims. Ready to read? Right, you know this word because she's trimming over here. Snip, snip, snip. And what is Greg doing? Let's see if we can read it. Are you ready? Greg. 
It says Greg is working near the over here. The trees. He's setting up all the seats for the guests to sit out in the yard. How interesting! What's going to happen? Brum, 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 brum. Look who drives up. See this older woman here? Her name is Graham. And Graham is a short little name for Grandma, meaning grandmother. Some kids call their grandparents Grandma and Grandpa, right? So her name, in short, is Graham. And she dr dr drives up, and parks her car, and gets out. And all the kids are happy to see her, right? What does Greg yell? Oh, excited to see Graham, to see his grandmother. So what does he do? He run, 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 runs to new word here. Grr, grr. Not growl, not groan. He runs to greet, greet. Ready to read? Look out, Greg! Don't run too fast. Look! Uh, ooh, uh, oh my! Kaboom! See what he trips over? It says. Trips. What's that? What do apples and oranges and fruit come in? A cr crate. Right again. Crush. Boom. Look out, Greg. Oh, see all the cars there, children? Everyone's so excited to meet the bride. And sweet Fran greets her Graham and says, and she asks her a question here. Friends asking about the bride, huh? Is the bride all ready? This is exciting. Who's going to get married? Do you see Graham's sweet grin on her face? This word says, "gr grins." That's a sweet little smile, right? What does Graham answer? No, nope, the bride is not set yet. Oh, the bride's got to get ready for the wedding. Are you ready for the wedding, kids? Let's turn the page. So, everyone's getting prepared with all the cake and fruit and grapes and all the treats for the wedding. Now, Greg says something. Are you ready to read? You know this word because you eat this on your birthday sometimes, right? My goodness, Greg certainly is a yelling boy. Greg, please, I know you're excited, but you don't have to yell so much. Who has the cake? That's right. This is their dad. Dad. And who has the fr fruit? See that word? Fruit. Can you guess who this is? Mm. 
right. And what happens now? Uh oh. I think these people are getting mighty excited about this wedding because plop! <laughs> something drops on the grass. Can you tell what it is from the picture? What fell out of the fruit bowl? Grrr. It's not grin. It's not gripe. But what? See the A? Grapes! What happened to them? Right. You see, kids, in this book there's lots of words that have er in them, like grapes, and drop, and grass, and greg. Very good! You're doing great! <clears throat> now you see, when people get ready to go to a wedding to see the bride and groom, they get all dressed up, not just from the activity box, from the dress-up box, but with their nicest clothes. You think Fran looks nice in her hat? And Greg in his little suit? That's sweet of Fran to help dress Greg, isn't it? I think you can read this all by yourself. Good! What next? Now it tells us about the color of Fran's dress. Can you read it? This word says green. Good! And this word says dress. Right. Two times. Dress. Dress. Now, your turn to read it. Very good. Now what? What does Greg have on? I already told you. Right, very good. And she's helping to tie his little bow tie. Ready to read? What a sweet sister. Everyone's getting ready for the wedding. Are you kids ready to see the bride? Everyone's getting all set for the wedding. Even Graham, you see? Doesn't she look pretty sitting there at her dresser? She's getting all set. Ready to read? Okay, everybody's getting ready. And she asks, Is the bride all set and ready for the wedding? Look! Do you see how Graham is fixing her hair? Sometimes you wear your hair like this. What do you call this kind of hairdo? A uh, braid. Right! Braid! Very good! Do you see the word here? Ends? Put a p in front of ends and it says very good. So is the bride set? Graham is pinning up her braid and she says 